has to do with the beginnings of plant physiology in the United States. And as you see from our outline, we have, well, you can't read it from where you are probably, but you see we've done a little bit of history here. And of course, plant physiology is a very old science. It really had its beginnings in the 1400s. But we've taken that all the way up to uh, 1900. We have looked at the little bit of work that had been done in Europe during that period of time. And then we broke it off into the United States and in Europe. And what we find in the United States is that uh, botanists were doing a lot of field work. They were doing a lot of identification and taxonomy, but very little physiology, if any, was being done during that period of time. In Europe, of course, they were excelling in physiological botany or, phys or vegetable physiology, as it was called at that time. Two events prompted the United States to take off in physiology. It was, of course, Darwin's Origin of Species and Sachs' Physiology of Plants, or his Lear book, his textbook of botany, which was discovered finally in the United States after it had been translated. And that really stimulated botany in the United States to take off. We've shown you over here sort of the model. This is uh, our friend Sachs and uh, his laboratory, and you see him standing here, sitting there reading a manuscript. In the United States, we have two events that are taking place. We have laboratories that are being built, finally, specifically for botany at universities and also experiment stations. And we also have two notable individuals here, our friend that we've been researching for a number of years, J.C. Arthur, who spent most of his career at Purdue University, was a plant pathologist. But he decided to invent and distribute equipment such as this. He put out a little booklet uh, of equipment for sale to do plant physiology in the laboratory, both for the student and the experimenter. And we also have some designs over here that were published in the Botanical Gazette of physiological equipment that could be used, uh, again, for students or for the researcher. And well, I think that pretty much explains what we have tried to do with this. We're promoting plant physiology, also promoting J.C. Arthur and uh, the events that happened early on in this country, United States, to, uh, to uh, promote plant physiology basically as a new science. A new botanical era was beginning at that time. Mm -hmm.